Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Sagittarius, welcome to this March reading. And today we're looking to a very strong and specific question. Who is coming towards you? Or what is coming towards you? You might be aware, you might not be aware, you might see it coming, or you might not. But I know many, many of you, you are very sensitive souls and as well very psychic. And as well, we are in a March season, so that's Piscean energy strongly. And that speaks a lot about unseen energies. Let's see here, Sagittarius, who is coming towards you, what is coming towards you, what we need strongly to know that is on the way to us. As no, I am a Sagittarius too. And let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs. Take mostly what speaks, connects and is very much feeling that yes this is my energy all right and of course let's not be judging because general readings i highly resonate my highly do not overall energy here we have a three of swords ten of swords seven of cups and knight of wands and three of cups all right, loves. As the Spirit says, learn a lesson once and forever. And don't let anybody to come to you and to do the same thing. For many of you, you, you ask the universe, why over and over something here repeats? There's a pattern here needs to be learned. And to not let any more because you know as i always said get the issue from the root not cut it off because many of you is like well i cut them off and things like that yes but when you cut a tree the branches come from the other sides so you gotta take the situation from the root pull it out that's the thing here for some of you you are repeating something and not with one person but with others so spirit says look forward for that so this month there is something here you need to to be clear for you or to be honest with yourself if somebody here is a friend let them be a friend not friends with benefits, not something here. Maybe, maybe we start friends and we kick out later on and we'll go. It's kind of be clear from the beginning what you really want. Whoever you are meeting here. Because I feel here there is a Sag who question themselves. I see you single, okay? Who question, what should I do? What's my best shot? What should I change? Let's see, loves. Ace of Swords, that's what I am saying. Gotta be clear. Gotta be honest with yourself. Knight of Swords. Lovers. Wow, I see a Gemini here. Judgment. Ten of Pentacles. Magician, you might have air in the chart, okay? You might deal with an air sign or you might have air in the chart. Four of cups, moon, and two of wands. You see how clear is this message in here, loves? You got to be very clear what you really want. And don't be afraid to say it because somebody here is quite afraid or is feeling like well if I'll tell how will be and how I will feel what you gotta lose in here I have Gemini Libra Aquarius Piscean energy here could be another Sag but again 
Spirit says you manifesting a real commitment. And this is reserved for you by the universe. But you need to approach that and be firm whatever it is that. And do not be afraid to choose what is right for you. And that is quite like, this is what I want. As you see here, clearly I want a real connection, a strong connection, a long-term connection. For some of you, it doesn't need to be a, a relationship. I want abundance. It's kind of like you got to be clear this month what you want. And that to come to you. Because it could come very s strong and fast. And to choose. Because it's your choice. Be honest with yourself. Because I feel here for some of you might come somebody around to you. And you might have a missed opportunity with this person. They come in fast. But the thing is, you might be afraid to refuse them. So Spirit says, don't be afraid to refuse them. Because it might be the same old, the same old. Make sure you choose the right thing. Okay, loves. Because whatever you manifest, you got to go with that. It's very strong and very specific for some of you. It's kind of make the right choices for you. It's a wake up call here. And also it's kind of like choose what is good for you, not good for them. As much as you love this person, as much as you want to reunite with this person, as much as you feel like I will lose them or not, because I feel here for some of you, you indeed want this person, but you are afraid to lose something. But sometimes, you know, losing something small, you might gain something big. Okay. Let's see here why this person comes so fast. Knight of Swords, why you are here. Five of Swords. Hermit and Ace of Wands could be air, could be earth energy. They come here and they look like they gotta work, they look like they're telling you the truth, and they feel like a little mysterious. I was thinking about us and do this, but in the bigger picture is Ace of Wands. Which that is Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords clarified by Five of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Hermit. I feel here this person, whatever they say to you is not what they will do. Do you hear me, loves? Because I feel here they they look like serious, they look like mysterious, but it's something here they want to gain for them, not necessary for you. And you, deep down, you know, with the moon. Let's see, Four of Cups, you have a missed opportunity with this person. Fool, don't get fool again, Rose. Moon. Page of Pentacles. 
and underneath we have seven of swords so whoever comes here again they will offer very little loves so think about it think about it because again will be so superficial okay it's a superficial here energy here and you might feel like why why you are here you know that's how sometimes happens let's see here two of wands eight of pentacles your focus is somewhere else or you try to focus your life yourself when want something else king of wands two of swords as like for my own protection i will not choose and i choose to focus on something else which that is good look at you from the knight to the king that's quite a huge thing so lovely sage i feel here you you might dedicate yourself to something else or to work on something else and also at that at the same time is like i choose to work on the past issues i choose to not repeat the things which were before and it's kind of like not somebody to choose me i gotta choose somebody because I feel here, somebody here might took you for granted and not anymore. So good job loves. I feel here, somebody here got an awakening call and know that if I will not do this, I will keep getting this four of cups and the full energy so it's it seems to me like a rejection for somebody from the past but let's see here if you are not connected strongly with this story let's see here what else is actually new or what the universe wants to share with you at this time what are the strong message we can pick up outside of what we've seen till now Empress, there's a lot of growth here. It's like you naturally attract abundance. Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords. and the hangman and the six of cups there's a thing here you naturally attract a lot of things but some of them you might feel they are not necessarily good to you so i feel here this month whatever comes to you it's more likely well i see it I recognize it but I need some time to see it to to decide about it it's very strong energy here that it's kind of a clear up energy here because I feel here you you naturally attract a lot of things but not necessarily all of them are good and you at one point you feel like why why i'm doing this why i'm attracting necessary this but the universe is telling you because you need to reflect and redirect your energy towards something else and the hangman knows see this situation or this energy differently shift your energy okay 
shift your energy, whatever it is here, and try to be smart about it. Because I feel here for some of you, for some of you, there is a soulmate on the way to you, like new love, new commitment, because these are the cards coming in, six of cups, king of cups, ace of cups, four of cups, hierophant, and the sun. So there is coming a new relationship to you, but spirit says you got to take some time to shift your energy and let that energy to coming in and I feel here this is the energy you are ask the universe to give it to you and is on the way to you but you might have to deal first thing first with some old stuff and that's why you need to shift your energy. Okay? So the universe is still bringing you some not wanted stuff. Just because to see, are you ready for a real thing or not? Okay? Because many of you is like, well, I attract the same person. Or I attract the same thing over and over and over. And... You know, when it's coming, same thing, same old, same old, is because we did not learn a lesson. And once a le lesson is learned, then it's coming what we asked. Then it's coming what we need to follow. And that's kind of a thing here. It's kind of like figure it out and know clearly know what you truly need to focus on so that what you ask from the universe what you manifest it to come to you it's very loud energy because i always say my voice many many times is changing as the energy changing and indeed here it's what you choose and what you follow because that's the lovers what you choose this is you and two of one what you need to follow so here we are loves i hope this speaks to you and resonates with you whoever was in the past i see air and earth energy for some of you, might come towards you a fire sign or a water sign, okay? For those of you in love. But the new energy here is, yes, it's like you are the magnet here this month. Attracting, attracting, attracting. But... You might attract a lot of things, but Spirit says, hold on. Okay? Hold on. Temptation, of course. So, Sagis, that's all I have to bring at this time. Love and light to all of you. And if you feel this is truly speaking to you, truly authentic with your energy, genuine energy. Let me know down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Many blessings. Bye for now.